Thing. I'm like, hey, Chuck, I hit a dick in there on the back of your arm. It's just that not hidden like, at all. It's, just so it's, like, <laughs> it's like a where's Let ball. me know. <laughs> you can get it. It's Waldo with his cock out. <laughs> I don't want to just rip on Cam the whole podcast. Oh, I thought this is what we were doing. So Cam sucks. <laughs> He's fucking late all the time. <laughs> fucking traffic. So Cam, we have a really special opportunity today. Opportunity have, or guest? Please don't cut me off. <laughs> Thank you. We have my most inappropriate client here today. Yes, sir. And I'm hoping he gets inappropriate with you. <laughs> the goal and yes i'm talking about physically yes. <laughs> that was the whole point of this is i was coming here and me and you are going to do something on this table right. that's going to change your life and make mine <laughs> it's like it's not really going to change mine <laughs> i'm going to be fine it's just be another day <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just another monday morning for me but but yeah we had alex adams on here last week and it inspired me you know, so I'm thinking we make a tribute video. <laughs> Dude, Alex tried to kiss game. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing like a, what was it, the thumbnail? And I sat in John's seat for a second, and he got kind of close. <laughs> Dude, you really, like, you're sitting here, he's scooting he like right there. I don't blame him. It's off camera, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. He's got like small lips like John, too. It's a little creepy. He's like, <laughs> he's like small lips. He's like describing them now. <laughs> Oh, because you've had such big lips in the past. <laughs> Chuck, how did that, that joke start, that, like, mission to kiss Cam? When was that? Uh, I think it was one of the videos we posted. I think I just commented I wanted to kiss Cam, and then I just, people were just commenting. From yeah, and then just now every time, just want to kiss Cam. That's my ultimate goal. When did you first realize you were attracted to Cam? Um, I think it it was like your first week here as an intern. <laughs> the, day, the first day I saw him, I guess. I honestly love it first sight. I, I, as soon as I walked in the door. You were talking about and this I saw this year. I think like, he, like in my first week here, he was like, you were doing something on his arm. Yeah, your first week here, I was getting tattooed. Yeah, I think you were doing like the gap fillers on the 90s. kind of. Yeah, Chuck's well, I mean, you time. remember uh, really well, so you obviously felt something <laughs> too. <laughs> Chuck's like, oh, yeah, all John's apprentices do this. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not John just, John's just like, all my clients are like this. Yeah. <laughs> Get used to it. Yeah, but, I mean, we also had the one family that walked. I was going on a very inappropriate rant, and the family just got up <laughs> and walked out the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were like, I felt horrible. But, yeah, I'm just losing <laughs> business at this point. <laughs> um, oh. You might be my only client that... Client, like other clients have left just because of what you're talking about. Yeah. And you're not even saying it to them. You're just talking out loud. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, I have no, I don't even realize I'm horrible once I go on a rant of reading the room of who's around. <laughs> so when There's I no start, around. yeah. And then I remember they looked over and was like, and you were like, well, just let me go. <laughs> and they got up and they were like, there's no way I'm staying here while this guy I mean, do you have Do you have any inappropriate clients? They just say like crazy. Not like not like Chuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> One of a kind, baby. Yeah. A different breed. Have you dealt with any situations with clients, even in that area? Like maybe they're saying something weird. They're making you feel uncomfortable. He's sitting across from me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> It well, offended me when the first time I met you, you were talking about beating up retards in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't was say I beat up stuff. retards. I said I got suspended Seth, for driving your car. putting a... Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I got like, suspended in school for putting... It was like a kick me sign I was like, my taxi. on them. I didn't put it on, though. What would you put on them? <laughs> it was a kick me sign, but I didn't put... On a kid with no legs? No, it was... <laughs> <laughs> on the wheelchair. Yeah. It was this girl and... She was blind? No, she was... She had, she was uh, had Down syndrome. And we were in line. <laughs> I, I didn't know if uh, the retard yeah, word was yeah. allowed, so I was like... Uh, but we were in line in art class, and... A buddy of mine was being like an idiot and like putting like stupid signs on people and he put it on one and he did it, but it was falling off and I should have let it fall off, but I 
added another piece of tape to it. I made <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> sure <laughs> that that's <laughs> Like I got when she walked out of our class and made a left in the hallway and another one came and kicked her and <laughs> the Yo, aide I don't saw know the sign. Who's and worse in this hunt. situation? Like the person who put the sign on or the person who kicks him? Well, the person who kicks him is also involved retarded yeah oh, okay like <laughs> so it's her I, class I, I, it's I her classmate could, reading it I did, to be honest with you he did what he was supposed to do he's just following rules yeah. <laughs> <laughs> following direction following direction yeah. so yeah so, so that's why a special school because so I, that's why <laughs> what ha- i ended up ha- what happened was i ended up having to because um not going to the school but <laughs> the principal made me though it was a whole witch hunt all day at school and then i got suspended for it and the family was, I was really close with the family, actually. The dad was really cool, and the mom, and they, like, understood, like, kids are idiots, you know. And this is back, you got to understand, this is back in 2002, and uh, they made us all sit down, and they suspended me, and then they made me go work with them in the, uh, every day after school. <laughs> so, I built, uh, that's, why I was, that's why I was able to know that you had, you know. Something, because I've been for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Spotty guy, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was spent for, like, four days, and I had in-school suspension. And that kid was the one, the kid who really originally did it, like, didn't get in trouble, because he, like, ratted me out, put it all on me. Snitch. Took, like, a man. <laughs> you should have yeah, got the kick. Yeah, I took it on the gym. You should have got the kick. Ten toes down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. But I, I like how you were like, <laughs> no, the parents just were cool. They understood, like, why I did it. They were like, we do it every time she comes home from school. No, but Principal fist bumped me on the way out. Don't be at a great day at school. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the first. Man. Dad's, dad's full football gear. <laughs> He's full sprint. Oh. Ray Lewis tackles her. <laughs> she gets in the door. No, but they were, like, kind of mad because the principal was, like, had her there trying to, like, make it a whole thing and the parents are kind of like i feel like this is way too much like get the kid in trouble whatever let's move on like the principal's screaming at me he's like tell her tell him how you feel and she like didn't know what was going on right so she was trying to tell me how she felt but like she you know wasn't able to process the words to like because she didn't know what was going on (laughs) so the dad was like this is ridiculous because she's like and and the dad was like what are we doing here you know i'm like and i'm sitting there i'm like yo just yeah i'm in trouble i've you know i messed up fucked up whatever but yo breaking news (laughs) what's the breaking news he he says he might be slightly autistic (laughs) autistic yeah yeah. (laughs) oh that makes sense that makes sense That makes sense. Yeah, I think just, we all. I, I, I know the, I am. That's I'm the like, get out of jail free card. What the, <laughs> the jail free card is? What <laughs> You're autism? Right. Adrian's never been in jail. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> so, yeah, have you ever been arrested? No. No, you just blame it on the tizzies. <laughs> like I can't control myself. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm I brought this up the other day though, because I think we were talking about like minors. I don't tattoo. <laughs> I don't tattoo minors. Like, hey, would you tattoo a minor? And I'm like, nah, just because I don't want to deal with the, like the headache. I don't want to like put something on someone's body. Yeah. Or whatever. And it, all the different categories of like people came up. Like, would you? Would you not? Would you? Would you not? And like one of the questions was like, well, where? Like, what are rules with people that have Down syndrome? People that are on the spectrum. You know, all that stuff, you know, like, yep. is this something like you would take on or you wouldn't? Obviously, in certain situations, like, you need parental consent. And because I've seen a lot of tattoo artists kind of be strongly opinionated on the will you, will you not. Like, it could be as simple as, like, I don't do faces and hands. I don't tattoo minors. Yeah. You know, you know. Yeah. Some people have, like, uh, set. Some, I feel like it could be just, like, morals sometimes for some people. So if yeah, a parent like, came in with her kid or his kid and asked you to tattoo, you would you do it? Like a like a minor? A minor? Yeah. Probably not. No. So everyone I mean, if it was like a friend or like a family friend, I would. Yeah. yeah. But I would be like, yo, are you sure you want this? Because everything I got up until like twenty five years old, I'm like, yeah, I don't fucking want this anymore. Yeah. You know, and I ended up covering it up. Um, well, I got all and like a lot of times they want like small stuff, and especially if they're really interested in tattoos, 
I'm like, yo, if you like tattoos this much, you're probably going to sleeve out in a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah, don't like, like super young like you know that's not their last yeah thing. and and that's you're usually getting something little for their family and that's why like their parent co-signed it and it's like oh we're you know getting this for grandma yeah grandma what, died let's get her date on our wrist right it's usually, like, every young but they're like yo let's put it right something. in the middle of the sleeve and uh, you can work around that later and i'm like i don't want to you know <laughs> um so that's tough like with the with the minors that's why i'm just like i don't want to be the one or yeah. i'm like Let's just start your sleeve now. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? yeah, you just yeah. want to be a cool 18 year old. Right. Uh, but, like, if relating back to the topic, like, if someone with Down syndrome wanted to come in, everything was appropriate. And I, I don't even know, like, what the rules are with that. But I would 100% do it. Yeah. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, like, she was my client the other day and was fairly. I mean, I feel like if they, like, drove themselves and they're, like, capable of. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing? No, I mean, like, if they're, like, capable of, like, filling out Dude, paperwork. Dude, your client the other day was fully capable. Yeah. And she also did not have Down syndrome. <laughs> Try, no, drive I mean, I themselves. Talking, <laughs> if, like, Dude, they I had... feel like the short bus is going to pull up. You're going to be dragging. Everybody out. Yeah. <laughs> Next stop, borrow time tattoo. <laughs> they're just all getting... <laughs> it's fucked up. Yeah. Adrian's, dri- Adrian's driving the bus, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Adrian's driving <laughs> Just picking Licking them up. his lips. Yeah, yeah. He's going <laughs> to after school game. programs. He's just picking them all I up. I can't control them. traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting in the back of the bus. <laughs> yeah, you're on it. Is there any, what are situations where you would refuse to tattoo him? I feel like there's more, a lot. Kind of. like, there's, like, are we being like serious here or are we joking around? Because like. Anyone I don't care. Like, Just give me a fucking like, example. Yeah, if you like plaster, I don't feel like tattooing you. You're usually not gonna sit still. Do you guys get people that like come in like pretty fucked but up? There's a bar yeah. across the street. They come in holding the really? drinks, like not even trying to hide it. And and they just come in asking for tattoos, like yeah. just drunk as hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you guys do it? Fuck yeah. <laughs> no, typically we don't. Typically they're Depend- super fucking yeah. annoying. Yeah. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Most like, of the time we we'll, like we we'll, like try to just get a like book a drunk person. Like, you'll come in when you're, like... And then you follow up with them. They're like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember fucking like, I don't know where the hell that Or they just is. fucking end up coming into the appointment just with more alcohol. They're yeah. just like, oh, I'm ready for today. Now, if you're smart, you would come in sober. And then during your breaks, which happens a lot. Levi's yeah, we'll have people, like, progressively get drunk <laughs> yeah. throughout the day because they run to the bar across the street. If you're, like, trash, no way. We'll try to set up an appointment with you. Yeah. Like, yo, if you're real serious, like, calm, you know... Settle down. Tomorrow you can even come in. Uh, if they're, like, you know, just having fun, maybe one, two drinks in, it's kind of a judgment call. Also, like, what they're getting. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. know, if they're, like, oh, I've, you know, wanted to get this. We're on, all on vacation. We want to get palm trees. And we had a couple of drinks. All right, whatever. Get yeah, a palm yeah. tree. But if they're, like, <clears throat> you know, I just met her tonight. I want to get her name on me. It's, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um... Definitely judgment call. Because I have some clients that, like, I already know what's up. Been tattooing them a long time. Yeah. And, like, they piece it up. We get the stencil on. And then they fucking chew on some whatever. Yep. And they're fucking out the whole yeah, time. Yeah, like, that's sometimes okay with me. I'm yeah. just like, yeah, you're going to be I have one client that is ju- just walks in, says what's up. Overdoses on yeah, Xanax man. for nine hours. Bar, bar <laughs> wakes out, up and he's like, "Oh, looks great. See you <laughs> oh, tomorrow." Sounds, and I'm like, "Yeah, if you remember, you yeah. know." John's fucking going back eating full meals and shit, dude. Still, <laughs> I wanted to make sure that says I went to borrow time and got blacked out. It should be sick. Yeah, especially for people that actually get blackouts. And then I'll also offer it to people that just did drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what other situations you're like nah I'm not fucking with that so what about like uh, racist like or anti-semitic yeah, tattoos no, I don't, no. I don't, yeah anti-semitic gang stuff I'm good I don't it sucks for us because our name gets like attached to the tattoo we do so I'm not gonna no matter what money well, yeah I mean I, I doubt you'd post it <laughs> <laughs> Chuck's like I would do <laughs> I doubt you'd post it but yeah, so no, none of that stuff. Yeah, I'm good on that. Cam's like, I need clients. I'm tapping into this clientele. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. It's just him like this. <laughs> so no Come get gang? your gang tats. Well, yeah, what gang tats? Have you gotten anyone to ask? No? 
So yeah, actually, I haven't got. We're like the wrong shop for that. People walk in here and know they're not. Like, if you want your gang tattoo, it's gonna cost a lot. Maybe they're in a wealthy gang. And they're getting that sick gang tattoo. Well, if, they've, well, if their gang has like incredible revenue and they're just <laughs> yeah making Killing so it. much money that yeah, just extreme margins. They're doing great. I, I mean, I don't know how you would know it was a gang tattoo, like. Because there's so many symbols, yeah, and like, they're just making yeah, stuff up. Yeah, you know? exactly. It used to be simple. It was a couple numbers, a couple letters. They let everyone know what it was. It yep. was clear. Now, it's, uh, the prison just made so, it crazy. Yeah, prison has made it complete. Yeah. There's so many different gangs and symbols where you probably, you've probably done one, not even realizing it. Probably. Oh, we got this piece of shit client the other day. Danny, can I talk Yo, about I keep, that guy? I keep doing these The prison Yeah, guy. you can. Absolutely. It's, it's like this gang symbol that just everybody has. It's a T? Yeah. You mean a cross? <laughs> <laughs> Catholic gang? Really? Catholic gang. Oh, Catholic. God's gang, baby. Oh, that was good. I got it. It's like God's, it's gang. Gang. God's gang. God's <laughs> gang. God's gang. Look, man. The infinity symbol gang is pretty big, too. They're forever. Yeah. It's a pretty fucking dominant puzzle gang sign right there. Just the <laughs> Do you hear Adrian? What? I like the puzzle piece gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, all, we're yeah. about the puzzle piece over here. What about the Roman we numeral gang? We represent... Dude, in regards to uh, that client, Nate already made a video, like, immediately. So, I think it's cool. Nate already made a video about the client? Next day, homie. What? What do you do? Next day. Bro, just this... It, it's it's fine, but the way he handled it's not fine. He reached out to oh. me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep it very general. The client reached out to Nate, asked to get, you know, a tattoo. Yeah. Nate let him know what's up. Nate's like, yo, I could pretty much half sleeve you in a day <laughs> because I'm so fast and the quality's there. Like, I, you know, I charge 26, 2700 a day. Yeah, yeah. Prison, prison person. Um, <laughs> PP. Thought <laughs> Nate was trying to rob him, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> and, like, Nate don't give a fuck. Yeah, I know. He's I love like, Nate. listen, like, just like any product. This is what I. This is my product. This is what I charge. Yeah. It's just yes or no. And if it's no, that's fine. I understand. You know, like, dude's trying to buy a Honda, Nate's selling Ferraris. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. If you're not in the market for Ferraris, <laughs> stop. Stop asking the dealer about it. You know, yeah. you can test drive it once yeah. if, yeah. They, if your credit's good enough. You yeah. know, but otherwise, fuck off. Yeah. Bro. Nate was really respectful. Wife was respectful. And then after he insulted Nate, saying, like, yo, this isn't right. You're trying to get over on me. Then he starts, like, doing math. He's like, oh, if you're fucking tattooing this many days a year, you should be making this much a year. That's insane. You shouldn't be making that. (laughs) Like, just attacking Nate, bro. And, you know, Nate, Nate's like... I don't, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't care. Was he in the shop or was he on the phone? I think this was like messaging emails on the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pretty much he's like, all right, 1500 final (laughs) (laughs) offer. And and Nate's like, "Uh, you know, I'm sorry. This isn't a negotiation thing. If you want, I could do maybe a half day. Like it's just, I sell two products (laughs) and they each have a price that is (laughs) non-negotiable. I would really like to stop emailing with you. Please don't do this. We have other artists that are in that range. And he's like, no, but I want you. And Nate's like, okay, well, then this is this is the price. He's like, all right, bro, like, enough. Final, final offer, 2100 <laughs> <laughs> I think Nate just stopped answering him. Yeah, I, I would have stopped answering him, him. Yeah. long before <laughs> that, right? And then what, what ended up happening? He just, like, booked with someone... Yeah, I don't know how he reached to Denise. I'm assuming he saw one of our posts. But, yeah, they were texting me about it. Like, what should I say? I'm like, just, just give us a dab. <laughs> For real. Yeah, he should have went up. Yeah. Bro, so then client, like, gets tattooed here anyway by someone else. I probably accepted his fucking bargaining, whatever. And then he's just, like, walking up and down the shop, like, looking at me, looking at me. I didn't know what was going on, so I'm just like, hi, how are you? <laughs> you know? I didn't learn until after. <laughs> But dude, I, I just him fucking, I just hate that shit, bro. Yeah. yeah. He was a dick too. For no, I didn't even know the situation. And I was like talking to him back there while he was getting tattooed. And he was just dude, like, it takes everything in me. Cause I found out midday. It takes everything in me to not like go and fuck, shut the whole fuck thing with down. that guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Like, just start trying to buy shit off. I don't him. understand why he would want. <laughs> <laughs> let me get like, your yo, shoes. Let me get a shirt. <laughs> He's like, no. Nah. I'm like, two dollars. Final offer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yo, how do you? How does that feel? And now I'm gonna insult you. That is crazy that he still came here though with another artist and just like, like it, with Nate here. Like, I don't know why he couldn't just go to another tattoo shop. And find another price. Bro, and it's also that prison mentality. Yeah. Which like I he's in the yard hate, when he's walking bro. up and down. Yeah, he's like, I ain't ducking nobody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I ain't scared of no one. Yo, and like prison, jail, whatever you want to call it, tattoos, like those worlds intersect. Yeah. You know what oh, I mean? 100%. And like, it's just like you get out of prison and you have this mentality. I understand like when you're in there, you have to like hold up a wall. You do have to change a little bit, make sure you're not getting fucked with and whatever. But some people take it to this whole other level where they're like, yo, I'm just going to become an aggressive person and I'm going to fight all the yep. time. And like to me, because like I've been to jail a million fucking times, you know, so this isn't coming from someone that's like, I watched Prison Break and now I know, you know. <laughs> prison Break. <laughs> it's a great show. Awesome. So, I'm on first season right now rerunning it. So it's like, <laughs> like when I got in there, I understood how it worked because I'm not like com a complete idiot. I'm yeah. like, okay, you got to be a little guarded. Like don't, but you can still like have a good time. I mean, I fucking had a great time. Oh uh, yeah. My first time I was, when I first went in was, I mean, they call, I had class, they called me Harry Potter and they did the whole spell thing on me. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, <laughs> so they were like punking me out or trying to in the beginning. And then I kind of started yeah. settling in and just laughing and Dude, for, for me it was easy. It was like they're like you draw and tattoo. Yeah, <laughs> you're fine. You That's know? true. And then the the COs were like, "Yo, I'm you draw me up a sleeve." And like obviously I'm gonna say yes because <laughs> I just like want to be on the good side. Yeah. It's like, yeah, like tribal the whole thing. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you piece of shit. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> dirty dog. Dirty dog. Um, That's gonna be three bags. Yo, but Doritos. it's like you notice the people in there that are fucking dumb. Yeah. And they just like break up and they're like, this is, and then they take it out. And it's like, yo, that's what's gonna get you back in. And like, that's what this person had, you know? Yeah. Like, to, I'm like, yo, this, these tools don't work out here, bro. No. They might have worked in there and it wasn't even like respectable tools. Like, maybe people just feared you, like the weak ones that you didn't even need to worry about anyway. And all you did was become more aggressive and essentially ask the other tough ones to fuck with you. Yep. You know, you know, Yeah, he was expecting Nate to just be like, OK, OK, yeah. You well, then what? he was walking around the shop like big dick. I'm like, yo, you're in Florida. Everyone has a gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you're in like his place of work. Yeah. yeah. Like literally everyone in the shop has a gun in their station, you know, as the, as is their right. <laughs> yeah. To have one. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> like, I'm from New Jersey. I don't give a fuck about guns. Like, Me neither. I just got here and they're like, here's a gun. Yeah. And I'm like, cool. Yeah. And I just like put it in my station. Yeah, been in there I don't for, know like, where I was out here. I'm like, what yeah. the hell? But it just makes no fucking sense to me. Like, cool. Like, I get it. Like, you're upset. And and I would be, too, if my dad hit me that hard. But it's like, yo, you're an adult now, bro. Like, get the fuck over it. Yeah. And stop stop fucking with Nate. Cause he'll He's the you. last dude you want to fuck with. Yeah, yeah, you're the low silent assassin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he won't say nothing. He won't get he'll mad at you. And then he'll just shoot you. He just waits yeah. for you to swing. Yeah. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Cam, you been to jail? I've only been, what like, do you I've think been detained to, like, a couple times. So that's it. <laughs> What'd yeah. you say you've been where? Just detained, that's it, yeah. Detained? Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. I can just imagine Cam, I'm sorry, stop resisting. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get detained for? Being I been, like ste stealing or drug stuff, but nothing, nothing like ever crazy. I never just the usual. Just yeah. the usual. <laughs> stealing drug stuff. <laughs> How old were you? I was like I was detained a couple times as a minor. I don't think I've been detained since I was eighteen though. I know you've never been to jail. You wanna know how? That I, fucking drink you ordered. <laughs> this shit is fire. <laughs> what is that, the caramel ribbon? How you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that just tastes like freedom. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch I fuck gets it every time. <laughs> yeah, but I've actually seen some, and I I guess I don't mind to admit this, like decent work come out of prison. Oh yeah. Like, well, you know my I mean, my boy. Like, yeah, you that see came that? In here, he's got prison tats a lot. He's got one <laughs> of this lot. naked, uh, this naked broad that he used to fuck. Yeah, they he love has, the naked bitches. He has a full naked bitch on his on his arm. I mean, I, I always fuck him because he's got a girl. Like he dates a girl. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, what does she think? Of that? 
that just like naked bitch. They just say he's always a threesome. I'm like, you're weird, bro. I don't care, I don't care about you. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a shit. You did the some of his work. The Gabe that came in here, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah he's Gabe's got a, man. Yeah, Gabe's awesome. He's got, a, he's cool got car, a right? He's got a bunch of uh, prison tats, which actually they came out somewhat. De- some of them actually aren't that bad. I mean, but, you got like, the time. And you got the, all the time. I mean, there's the a, there's a lot of good tattooers that have learned to tattoo in prison. I'd say. I feel like a lot of tattoo artists I've met are like, "Where'd you learn to tattoo?" And they're like, "Prison." Like they don't want to say I, I it, would, but they say it. Uh, yeah, I I was <laughs> trying to think if I knew any. I'm yeah. like, how was your apprenticeship? And he was like, prison. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, pretty good. Is that what he said? No, I said prison. <laughs> um, yeah, I met two two guys that it was it wasn't like good for prison. It was just like a good tattoo. Yeah, like, yeah, that's chest pieces and ass right there, baby. And I'm like, that's pretty good. What do you yeah. pay for that? He's like, honey bun. You know? It's some ramen. Yeah. You know? It's like, it's fine, bro. Just tell me you give him a blowjob. I don't care. You, know? yeah. um, you can't be getting in prison. It's just not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's just, that's called surviving. Oh, yeah, that's not, yeah, it's not good. Survival of the fittest. But I think it's fucking weird because they do body mods in there. Like, I know... A, more people than I should that are like, you I pearled my shit in prison. It I'm like, what? Like, like put implants in their dick? Like, they'll round out the chest pieces. <laughs> yeah. Plastic. I heard about this. And then they'll do the old slip and rip. <laughs> yeah, bro. And they're like, yo, this is sick. You know? And I'm like, I don't know about that. I don't. I, I can't. Like, that's, you're that's probably going to be sounds, sick. That's got to be on Because it's infected. Yeah. Unsanitary, yeah. bro. Even in a yeah. hospital, <laughs> even in a hospital, yeah, I wouldn't I mean, be like prison with a yeah, chest. Go ahead. <laughs> it's pretty unsanitary. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be nervous in a hospital. Like, so with, would I. With everything the world You're has to offer, you give me the offer. greatest doctors in the world. Yeah. <laughs> I will still be like, what? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, yo, I'm just gonna use my long pinky nail <laughs> to make this decision. <laughs> Uh, I worked a long time rounding this piece out. Yeah. Barely got any edges. You love it. Oh my god, bro! It's like a fucking Dungeon and Dragon dice in your dick. Yeah, <laughs> and every time, also, like when I, even with doctors, like if I have to take out my cock in front of any doctor at any time, it's probably this big. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> like they're like, all right, take it out. I remember one time I went, I thought I had STD, and I went to this doctor, and they had, he was sitting there, he was standing, he was like, waiting for me, I come in, and he's like, oh, this is my, uh, this is my intern, and it's just some dude on a laptop, like, staring at me, and I'm like, this is fucking, like, he's like, all right, take it out, and I'm just like, okay. Because I feel they're now judging me, you right. know, like because sure. I take it out. They're never not judging the, the me. Hundreds, like, <laughs> yeah. Doctors are like the most. Yeah, they're just he's just sitting there on the laptop, and when I you you take it out, and there's no way that you could see a cock and not have some kind of judgment to it. <laughs> I just feel that way. Yeah, like if we all took out our cocks right now, like you would judge someone's cock. Right. You would be like, "Oh, that's an incredible cock," or you'd be like, "What the hell's that over there?" <laughs> right. You know what I'm, you know right. what I'm saying? That poor so, guy. <laughs> yeah. So like with the incision that you're talking about, like. I, like they gotta pull my shit or do something yeah. like my shit trying to work with this much room. No way, bro. <laughs> you fucking chop my shit off, dude. That is the absolute worst, man. And throw it a chest piece. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, some feet in jail with your cock out. <laughs> like, what are the, you come out, you're like, well, what's up, dude? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe Prison they got, like, great, great bedside manner, like the dude that does it. Like, you pull out your shit, and he's like, great cock, bro. Yeah, he calms <laughs> you down. Yeah. This is really, this is really nice. <laughs> I had not so nice last week. I'm grateful for days like this. Yeah. It's so good to see a great like, cock today, because this, yesterday was not At first, good. This, this piece will really accent yeah, you. Yeah. I hair? think this will fit you very nicely. <laughs> I had you set up for the pond, but I think we can go for the queen, actually. <laughs> You seem like a queen cut type of guy. Right. That's I mean, how many extra you bags That piece you got on you is, is A1. <laughs> right. I'm mean, surprised I, you ended up here. That's, with what a doctor like should, that. that's what doctors should do. Yeah. As soon as you take it out, they should be like, whoa, 
That is a fucking Slow down piece there, on him. Bugger. I'd be like, all right, yeah, now we're talking. Dude, I really, I'm not a fan of doctors. I can't stand them. They They're don't even, human. first off, they don't even have to go through nursing school. Most of them don't. Yeah. They're just like trained to like walk in and be like, how are you? And you're like, oh, I'm dying. And they're like, great, someone will be with you. And they leave and they yep. make the most money. Yeah. It's they just, crazy. They just wear the white coats. Yeah. I kind like, I kind of respect it that they've been able to like grip this long and just really not do anything. You know, I understand like surgeons and there's like more to it but i'm talking about you know what doctor i'm talking yeah, about right yeah and they have all the grunts doing like the ground the one that has like their stuff. name on the practice right and yeah. like i'll make fun of some of my friends that they're involved they're like oh student loans whatever it's like yeah but that's your year salary like your student loans paid off the first two years you're out yep as long as you get a fucking job yo and if you're that piece of shit that i'm like hey mr cam and they're like it's dr cam i can't I'll stand that i'll kill you yeah you can fix yourself. I can't believe people. Act, like, there's no way. Like, if you're a doctor and someone's like, oh, hey, John. And you're like, oh, it's Dr. John to you. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> you imagine? It's so hard to get that title, baby. I'd be throwing that shit every No time. way. Every I would. Because, first of all, they all go all through all that schooling. And then, they, <laughs> and then they have a nurse come in and just do all the work. <laughs> <laughs> and then they come in. They're, like, mad that they. <laughs> they're, like, oh, doctor, we'll be seeing you shortly. And you're, like, all right. And they come in. They're, like, Ugh. Doctor just, they like, open the. Just rereads everything the nurse wrote. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then you're sitting there. And, he's, and he just is, like, all right, I'm going to write you a script for this, 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 and this. And you're, like, okay. And, like, that's it. And if, you, if no, anything changes, come back and see us. It's like practically yeah. drug dealers. That's why they make so much money. But it's like even nurse practitioner can write script. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. And why do they all have shitty handwriting? It's the worst handwriting in the world. Right. Because they go through school rushing everything. Well, they realize <laughs> if they go through school <laughs> rushing, <laughs> rushing <laughs> one. It's like eight years. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Imagine writing eight years of papers. You don't I don't write think this else. is went to school. I don't think yeah, this is like fifteen years. <laughs> they realize if the teacher can't read it, they'll get an A. Yeah, that's where it comes from. Obviously, <laughs> not rushing. <laughs> uh, I don't think this is true anymore. But like when I started, like we used to like make the joke that had some truth to it. That like being a tattooer, we were the lowest paid person that works in blood. You know, like yeah. we were like, oh uh, yeah. In that area, like people that worked in like blood and humans Anything and whatever, like cross contamination. Like, yeah, we were like the lowest on the totem pole. And did you realize there was someone lower? Heroin addicts, <laughs> piercers. <laughs> no, piercers. No. <laughs> yeah, piercers. No, no, but it's Heroin just like with, yeah, with when the, we draw the blood, <laughs> that's pretty low. <laughs> we don't like dying behind the dumpster at a Seven Eleven with a needle hanging out of my heart of blood. Oh, thanks, Cam. <laughs> Fucking funny. <laughs> All right. So you've done a bunch of videos with us, yes. which I fucking love. Yes. And I think the first one was Wild Bill. Yeah. I think that was the first one I did. And one of the best ones. And that was funny because that was the reverse on how we typically do. No, I guess it's not. I that was it like the first skit you did where you like incorporated showing a tattoo with it too. Right. Because typically I, I didn't do that. No, I still, yeah. We still don't still really don't, do yeah. that. No. It did work. Good and well, because when I, when I first came here, I was the first time I met you was a couple years ago when I had the when I got this the right. Tilly from from New Jersey tattoo and <laughs> and, and I remember because I had no I mean I'm 34 now and I was it's a couple years ago so probably like 31 when I got. And I had no tattoos, and now you've done all my work. But I came here, got that, and I remember when we, when you're like, "Yo, I have an idea for the to start the sleeve on the left arm." You're like, "I'll show you when I get in," and you showed me the. Well, because you're like, "Yo, I want a '90s." I want a '90s, yeah, sleeve. '90s, yeah, '90s theme. And then you show me the Wild Bill, and I was like, "Run that." Right, hundred percent. So this was like before the video. Yeah, too. that's what I'm saying. The, yeah, before yeah. the video, because you were like telling the g couple of guys in the shop, you're like, "Chuck, we'll put it on his arm." Right. Watch. Well, I feel like that's important. Like understanding your client, Without how they are, and what they like. Yeah. And like, if I just hit you with a typical Bill Clinton portrait, you'd probably be like, "Oh, okay," and like whatever. Yeah. But I was like, "Yo, if I throw a baby chain on there, yep. if I put some '90s glasses, yeah, 
Clinton. What else did we put? Yeah, because if you gave me just like a Bill Clinton like portrait, you know, right. it would have just been like, you know, people are like, oh, you liberal cuck. You know, right. <laughs> like, like guy, you know what I'm Like saying? real clean cut, yeah, just yeah, like yeah, slight yeah. head turn. Yeah, that's yeah. all I have is just yeah, a portrait of Bill. But So we like did that and we're like, oh, that's funny, whatever. Didn't really tell anyone. Yeah. And then we're like, oh, like let's make a video yep. about these wild requests that yeah. clients make. And, like, showing the final product's ridiculous. And it's funny because, like, you and I just did that because we thought it was funny. Yeah. And then we made a video, like, blaming other people for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, that, yeah, look at this client asking for ridiculous stuff all the while. Yeah. Like, I drew it up and we wanted it's been, to do it. It's been such an easy process, though, here, too, because, like, with the relationship that we have, it's like, dude, I just literally, I mean, like, Seth will call me or text me and be like, what's our plan a tattoo on <laughs> I don't right. care. <laughs> Some slut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't... And then you think of... Like, because I can't... I couldn't draw a stick figure, like, good. Like, I couldn't think... Like, from an artistic standpoint, I don't have the the mind to be able to think of something, like, to, to do. And you you literally have thought of mostly everything that I have right. on me. Like, you were just like, yo, let's do this. I'm like, dude, put You it. did have a request for your chest, though. Yes. I did like the request for the chest. What was the request? It was... Wait, you're talking about the one I have now? Well, yeah. Well, I was like, what do you want on your chest? And you were like, I want a small twink boy. <laughs> yeah, I wanted a son. small twink, twink boy with his, his asshole <laughs> open across <laughs> my chest. <laughs> and you were like, oh, right, let's do it. Like and from then, the back? And, yeah. Like looking back at it? But yeah, he's like, so his his like head is almost up to my neck looking back at it. Right. And then his asshole's right by my uh, heart. Holes. Unfortunately, <laughs> my heart. <laughs> Is that hold right on my right on my heart where he belongs? Uh, and um, no, and then I ended up getting the uh, the kid in the cornfield holding the which we just tweaked which I met some guy. I had my I had like a tank top on. He was like, "Is that satanic?" And I was like, "I was like, what do you mean?" He's like, "That chest piece." He's like, "Is that like something with Satan?" I'm like, "Well, I don't know, dude." Like, like I hate when people like ask, like, "Dude, I have." Wild Bill Clinton on my arm. Like, yeah. I don't know any of this shit. Like, me, like, so, some of the stuff from New Jersey, like, means something, but, like, I mean, everything else is pretty so. The 90s tattoo is like. The fucking Game Boy is pretty demonic, bro. Yeah, you crushed that. <laughs> but yeah, and then when you called me and asked me to do the Wild Bill video, and I was like, run it. And then we did a few more, kept doing it. And people didn't believe I had that on me. Yeah. They thought, like, and I had this for a, a, a little while before yeah, we years, did the video. Yeah. yeah. And. I remember people were like texting me after the when you dropped the video and stuff and like it was on like people would randomly see it and they they text me or message me on Instagram and be like no way you got the wild bill I'm like yeah I, I've had it yeah we had it before the video yeah I had it before we the showcased video. it right yeah. <laughs> that's such a weird thing like people getting mad at you for having tattoos yeah. Like, I can't believe you have that. It's fucking stupid. It, like, dude, blah, blah, blah. it pisses me off. It's so weird. It's, like, like, it's not on your body. Yeah. It has nothing to do with you. Like, whatever. I'm just going to start, like, walking around to people and be like, oh, I can't believe you have Botox. Like, fuck yeah. you. You're gross. Like, Why oh, do you wear your eyebrows you like did that? Did you highlight your hair? That's fucking yeah. disgusting. Why don't you get, like, eyebrows that represented your family or something <laughs> you care about? Like, yeah. fuck you, bro. I know. It's so, and I didn't know because, like I said, I didn't. Know, I, I mean, I never had money getting ta for tattoos because it was all going to heroin for so <laughs> <Right>. long. So <laughs> I like the whole, my, uh, as much as I wanted to get them, I just never had money. And then once I, you know, kind of got my life together, and it was actually with the COVID stuff that happened, it was just like boredom, and I had money saved, and I was like, you know, a buddy of mine was like, yo, hit up John. Thank God. I mean, it worked out perfect because that was the one thing I was worried about is like going to like. Same thing we just were having the conversation earlier about is like, you know, ha going to a tattoo shop. I don't know if they're going to be good, how it's going to be yeah. received, what that looks like. Yeah, what was that like? Because you started getting tattooed later in life, correct? Yes. Yeah, I, I got tattooed, um, like I said, I'm 34, probably around, what was it, three years ago? Yeah, Four 31. years ago? Yeah. I, so, middle aged man. Middle aged man. Looking for tats. Middle aged man looking for tattoos. And I remember I came through the back door there. I met. I actually met you, Seth. I met Seth first, and he's. You were the one because I talked about wanting something from New Jersey, um, on my arm from Asbury Park, and you were like, "Well, John's from up there, so why don't you talk to him?" And I was like, "I was like, okay, whatever." Yeah. And then I, but I've heard about you from Aunt and a couple of the people that I knew, and Jenny, yeah, and Jenny and a couple of people I knew. <laughs> possibility. <laughs> 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 And 
And then, uh, so he told me to talk to you, and you were, it was funny, because I have no, I had no idea about the tattoo world, and I was like, yeah, so I want, like, this, like, this Tilly guy, like, from Asbury Park, like, on my arm, like, and all I gave him was, like, this picture of Tilly, like, it was just his face, and, but, like, I want to make, like, a sleeve out yeah. of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I gave him this, like, the picture was, like, this big, and I put, I, like, and this is it right here, this is the picture I showed him, and I'm, like, sitting there, and he's like, all right, I'm like, yeah, but I want to make it, like, my whole. Dude, imagine I just took you that image just and just put a bunch of that Stick same it. fucking image. A bunch image. of pictures of Tilly just down my arm. <laughs> John was like sit, standing there. And he's like trying not to laugh because he's doing the right thing and trying to feel feel me out because he's like, is this kid just like an idiot? Like <laughs> right. wanting like, you know, and Jenny was actually with us at the time. And I was like asking to do that. And then he was like, all right, I'll think of something up. And then he crushed it. Then he thought of this and then added this. And he was like, let's just make it all New Jersey because we're already doing that. I was like, all right, perfect. I should have just only did the Tilly everywhere. Yeah, and then like our the first, same sticker. And then our and first then just session. Been like, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. oh, I probably this is exactly <laughs> what I envisioned. I probably would have been like, oh, this is going to be awesome. Get so many girls. Oh, no, girls are going to be sucking my dick right. as soon as I walk out of this <laughs> shop with this one. What do you think, Cam? Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then what? <laughs> and then when we were having the when we then that's when like we were able to understand our relationship where it was like, all right, we could literally talk about anything. Getting tattooed here was so, I like lucked out because it was so easy. Because I mean, we'll talk for nine hours yeah. in the shop, like yeah. nonstop talking and just getting tattooed. It's so yeah, easy. Sessions, like, over Instead of like, sit, yeah, we literally, yeah. and then by the time the session's over, it's like, I mean, we even filmed another one after a session and yeah. that's when I was doing the nay nay out the door, <laughs> <laughs> which we couldn't even finish that video because I was laughing so hard because you were like, just do the nay nay out the door. We like winged that whole thing. <laughs> we, like, we had the boyfriend video too. Yeah. The what one? Boyfriend video. Machine. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Machine down. <laughs> that by far, I think, is my favorite chuck. Well, it was, it's funny because, like, we did a, we did a bunch of videos, but, like, I'll have people that, like, it's weird when people see you on, like, a vi from a video standpoint, like, or, like, because I'll see these people and then they'll, like, comment in the, like, the Facebook video. And they'll be like, Chuck, is that you? Like, obviously, <laughs> no. it's me. But they're you like surprised. Say no. They think like they think it's like, yeah, it's like they. Th I don't know. It's weird. Like they'll see it on Facebook, the video, and then they'll comment and be like, Chuck, and then they'll share it and be like, Is this Chuck? Like, dude, obviously it's me. I should start saying no. I did that one time. A buddy of mine, a buddy of mine, overdosed and he passed away. Like one of my best friends, and like. I hate when people like die and they like know what happened, but people be like, "What happened?" And I was like, "Oh, he he died in a in a shark attack." And the kid was like, "What? <laughs> what?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, a shark ate him." And the kid was like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> like everyone knew he was like doing heroin. It was only a matter of time before he passed right. away. But like the kid was such a fucking loser because we used to hang out with him and he like he like ended up did and was just doing some grimy shit. So like the fact that he, you know you know how people come out to woodwork when someone dies. Eyes. They act yeah. like, you know, I don't remember when Thoughts we first. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he like texted me and like texted all my buddies, and he was like, he's like, what happened to him? And he's like, oh my god, he's like, he's like, he overdosed. I was like, no, but it was actually a shark attack. <laughs> he was swimming in a shark attack. Yeah. yeah. So he's like trying to look at people posting about like shark attacks. <laughs> he's, he's like, like, like where should I, I stay away? Florida from man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell, yeah. Me <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you guys aren't or not. Tell me you guys aren't guilty. Of like going through all the comments, hoping someone said it. How did he die? Oh, I oh. need to fucking know. Yeah, oh, yeah, I want to know, but I don't want to be the dude that asks that yeah, question. Like, oh my god! I just say O D question mark. Oh, hoping. <laughs> <laughs> question mark. Go ahead, Adrian. Say what you're and they're like, no, it's my grandpa. The worst. The worst is <laughs> my uh, a buddy of mine. Um, this kid. So this they had. He had the same name as someone who died, and. This kid posted a picture of, of my buddy who's like alive and said, Rest in peace. I can't believe you're gone. And it's a selfie of them too, like outside of a store or something. Because the fact that kid did zero research and just heard, like, Oh, Jake died. And he was like, Oh, it must be this Jake who's dead now. Because I decided that he's dead. And he posted the selfie. And like, I, I'm going through Instagram. I see it. I'm like, what the? I'm like in a group chat with him. I'm like, Jake, are you dead? He's like, dude, no, what the fuck? I'm like, bro, someone just posted you died. Bro, someone's got Jake's phone. All of a sudden, he's, he's, he's getting, you, you see the bubbles? Holy shit. Oh, dude, his ex-girl had 
had to like post the story because you know she was like make it about me and she like posted like he's alive guys he's, he's, he like has a, she's he's like, like I has saved him <laughs> yeah. it wasn't for me when but yeah did. like those people are just like they jump they jump into like 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 Anthony Jeselnik talks about it when he says like it's like what about me today yeah that's what happens man people just like they'll post and be like I remember we met at detox and it was right. the best you know then, like, three days of my life for observation and then you left and I never talk to you again but and then someone else posts and then they post again yeah like they gotta stay on top yeah yeah tell me this can't be real it is real right <laughs> like so what would the, you say the opposite i would oh i would like, yo i used to beat that retard in high school. i would like, <laughs> Chuck, chuck's like shark attack question mark yeah <laughs> no i i wouldn't never post about it i mean I, if i did i'd be talking shit like i would continue the jo- like making a joke about it i could never be like dead serious like even with my boy like Dean died, like, I was, like, I didn't post, like, you know, like, oh, my God. I mean, people grieve differently, I get it, but, like, sometimes I feel like it's just, like, like, you literally would write a paragraph, like, talking about you, and then at the end, you're, like, we're us with the angels. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's, like, you just talked about you the whole time, and then at the end, that you, like, tag them. Because you know, we'll get so many stories about death, because it's a, you know, common... Yeah, event tattoos. happening to you know get a tattoo yeah okay like, hey, i'm gonna do this like honor and um i mean i'm well versed in that that's easy but once in a while i get caught like off guard you'll, and yeah like you definitely probably get it more because you'll do like portraits of dude and i'm people bad with death and what i mean by that is like i don't feel anything yeah like you know being you in recovery like growing up without like, a doubt in addiction and mm-hmm. then like getting clean like all my friends died yeah me too you know um, it's honestly sad how like desensitized it is to us. Like, yeah, I, like, so I have to like care. be careful because yeah. like yeah, when you're like 19 and 20 and like all your friends are like just dying and it's like overdoses. Mm-hmm. So not only is it quick and fast, but no one wants to fucking talk about it. Yeah. So there's not like really that time to process or like whatever. So we just figured out our own way to process and like being fucked in the head at the time anyway. Like we're just making jokes. We're trying to make each other laugh. Like I remember like my. Boy killed himself when we were like 17. Yep. And that was probably like the first experience. And we got kicked out of the funeral for laughing. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't, not in like, it was, I don't think it was in yeah. a rude way. No. Like we were telling stories about just times with the boy and like we were laughing and it felt better to laugh than to fucking cry. Yeah. You know? And, we Not were dark sense of humor or whatever. <laughs> but yeah. Like, oh, it's, it's right. Cause you have the dark sense of humor. People right, don't get he, it. Cause he like, some chick broke up with him <laughs> <laughs> and like he killed himself over it. Yeah. Listen, that shit is traumatic. Like your first heartbreak, all the first suck. The worst. And, like I'm happy. I went through it when I was young and like in a protected environment and didn't really have anything to worry about. If I was like 30 and had to deal with my first heartbreak, it'd be bad because oh. I'd have enough money to not only kill myself, oh. but to harm many others. Oh, everyone would be <laughs> you know? Yeah. Right. I had nothing, bro. I like got to borrow lunch money from my mom yep. at the time. There's nothing I could do besides cry in my room. <laughs> But, like, we're, like, at the funeral, and, like, we're all, like, making jokes, and I don't know if it was me or, like, someone else, but, like, making jokes about, like, how pathetic it was our friend killed himself over a girl, you know? <laughs> like, my one boy's like, she wasn't even that hot. She wasn't, like, kill yourself hot, you know? Or, like, whatever. And for whatever reason, like, I was like, this, like, this is funny. Yeah. Like, this helps me deal with it. Yep. And it was kind of, like, something that I, that I used really up i still oh it's it. my biggest coping mechanism in the world yeah, like, i like can't humor. do anything but make humor out of it right it helps me through literally everything right laughing like, is fucking like who doesn't like to laugh that's what, I, know. I don't like i mean i get people grieve differently people go through the process of like handling stuff differently but like i like when like if like same thing if my girl broke up with me or i was struck like i i need to have friends that are gonna fucking like make fun of me for it yeah like talk like make jokes about stuff and do all that or else I can't. But this is what I feel like isn't really fair. So there are some people that just don't find that funny. And I totally respect that. Oh, there yeah. are others that find it funny and act like they don't. Yeah. Cause they think it's out of respect for other people. Yeah. It, so that they're liked, I yeah. think is the real reason. Yeah. Um, I don't think it has anything to do with respect. Like that's like the word we use, but they're like, oh, I don't want to, laugh and then be judged and then people think i'm a bad person like it's a selfish action yeah 
And then there's people that just find it funny and they're like, this is what it is. Now, I'll respect those people that don't find it funny. Like, I won't bring up those jokes if you don't find it funny. Because I'm trying to make you laugh. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. Yeah. But at the same time, like, if I'm grieving and I'm making fucking jokes, don't silence me. Like, respect <laughs> my process. Without a doubt. Does that make sense yes. what I'm saying? Yep. Like, I respect your process. I don't say the fucking jokes. Yeah. I don't go dark and, like, try to make you laugh. Because that's how you cope. Yeah. But if I cope by doing it, just let me fucking do it. Yeah. Like, if I'm, if I'm like, doing it or I'm making, like, little jokes or, like, whatever, and you don't find it funny, or maybe it even makes you feel bad, like, just leave. Or yeah, like but whatever. no one could tell me, like, I can't tell you that your my coping mechanism is better than yours. Like, my, yeah. my way is what works and right. yours doesn't. Like, you know, I'm going to respect you if you handle something differently than I do. I'm going right. to be, like, fucking. Like, there, you know. To an extent, like, I'm not going to, like, I mean, go in the streets that. and be like, this person died and just start rattling off jokes. And everyone's like, no, no, no. Yeah. But that's my go-to. And the more uncomfortable it is, the faster, like, I'll react to that. And I've had clients come in and I'm, like, doing a portrait. And I'm like, oh, well, why are we getting this portrait? And they're like, um, you know, they passed. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, and what's that? I got a story that stems from that. All right. You're like, uh. Uh, he's like coming back there And I was like oh my, this might be better than what I'm saying Yeah I mean Adrian's tugging on it back well, Whatever there. so like and I'm like oh like how'd they pass Or whatever I'm I, I'm sorry I can't help it I have to ask I need to know Some people are like don't ask like leave it alone no, Act like know. it didn't happen ignore it Ignore yeah, yeah, it yeah, you yeah, know yeah, yeah. Sweep it under the rug I'm like how did it happen And they're like oh they committed suicide You know and it can be awkward Because I've also had people Where like it just happened So they're still kind of in shock so they're not able to, like, give proper delivery, maybe? Does that make sense, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, they're, like, kind of in shock. They're just, like, kind of saying how it was or whatever. They're like, oh, you know, how, how'd they pass? Oh, they killed themselves. And I'm like, oh, like, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't know what to say. It happened two weeks ago. I'm like, why are you here? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Or, like, whatever. But it becomes an honor. Like, yo, I'm so happy to do this for you. Like, for real. No no joking. Like I'm, I love to do that for people. This is a great way to honor this person or whatever. But like my go-to is like the jokes. And then sometimes like I meet those people that that's also their go-to. And then like, they're making jokes to me about it. And, and I don't know if I'm allowed to make yeah. jokes back, you know? Yeah. You don't know if that's just their thing. Right. Or if you can rebuttal that. Yeah. Dude, in, like, sometimes even people... maybe a little harder than <laughs> they're coming. Like, and you're like, you got jokes. <laughs> Yeah. I got jokes. Oh, you're making a joke out of this suicide? <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up. Yeah. I'm, I'm about to Leave go down the list. zero dark 30 on you right yeah. now. Can't plays it safe, I bet. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Danny, you got a good story? Yeah, Cam knows about this one. So I'm not going to use any names or what artist it was. It was Cam. It was Cam. <laughs> it wasn't. So there was a parent here getting a portrait of their daughter oh, recently God. passed. <laughs> Didn't know how, you know, whatever. It's not my place to ask. Neither did the artist feel it was his. We start filming a skit for TikTok <laughs> about COVID. John knows she this, yeah. died of COVID. And they were right there <laughs> the entire skit. Really? And we are bad. just and literally belittling. How did they feel about it? No, they didn't say anything. But uh, the artist was like, just so you guys know, she died of COVID. <laughs> I'm like, when were you going to say this shit? Let me give you the rundown. I <laughs> forgot, and Danny literally just pulled this from my past, and I remember it perfectly now. You remember this? So we're like, whatever, like, COVID's happening. <laughs> Let's make a video about it. This was, like, pretty early. Like, they were just now lifting the restrictions. Stuff was going back to normal. Yeah. We were a little late, but still on time. Yeah. Yeah. I had already heard that uh, the client passed from COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But I'm dedicated to the art. Yes. You, you know? have to be. Got a job right. to do, baby. And I didn't want to make the others feel weird. I didn't realize how crazy it would get, though. <laughs> I was like, whatever, we'll make a silly, a silly COVID video, yeah. and it'll be fine. This guy's cool. So we, like, kind of do this video about, what, Adrian had COVID, and, like, Cam's, like, worried, 
that it's COVID. I'm like, no. And Cam's like showing me a list of symptoms. And then the client's like going through all the symptoms, right? I didn't realize oh, I this these guys would be like complete children about it and like make the symptoms like really fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Like wasn't Pretty one of the bad. symptoms like extreme extreme farting and like <laughs> shitting yourself. Yeah, it was like extreme diarrhea. Yeah. Not yeah, being you, able to yeah, smell. Not being able to smell it. What were some of the other ones? Oh boy. We only had like three or four. It wasn't many. Yeah, but we were trying to turn them into like a medical term, which is. But and then also they're giving suggestions. So like, what if one of the symptoms is you're just a fucking idiot, you know, <laughs> or you're like ugly? Oh, the boner. Right. Oh, yeah. The boner. <laughs> oh, like, yes. yes. What if you have <laughs> uncontrollable <laughs> boner? <laughs> like Cam's like looking symptoms, and it's like you know extreme coughing, and it, uh, 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 and, and then it's like a check mark goes off, and it's like farting, and it's a check mark goes off, and it's like extreme boner, and then. And, like three checks. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, COVID's so stupid. COVID gives you boners. And, like the, and remember, so I already know. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, this is bad. <laughs> this got way out yeah. of hand. Yeah. So you thought that, so you were thinking, even though you knew, you thought the video was just going to be kind of ground level. Like, no. I, yeah, I thought like we'd tap into COVID. It'd be a little controversial. It'd get people talking. Yeah, of course. Bring up a subject, whatever. Yeah. I didn't realize everyone. You didn't realize they were talking to like about boners. <laughs> you didn't want to offend anybody. <laughs> COVID <laughs> boners. <laughs> sorry. COVID boners. What if one of the symptoms is you have boner. sex with your dad? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just like I'm like, oh, well, I have it. Like in retrospect, I'm like, how did I not know that was gonna happen? You know, because yeah. I was like, guys, I'm surprised you didn't think we were gonna give good, like, real symptoms. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I thought. And then, like, it was happening, and I was just like, well, it's already happened. And, like, it's a, it was in that kind of laughter where, like, you just look embarrassing because yeah. you, like, can't control your body. And they're just saying the word boner and, like, laughing. And, I mean, this is happening there, and the client's getting tattooed there. Oh, my God. And I'm just like, <sighs> you know, you can hear, like, everything. What well, was her... Was the client's response like anything at all, or just kind of took it on the chin? Super cool. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. He actually was a really good guy. He, yeah, he even he came, came back. He even came, yeah. yeah, he came back. Got him. But like, you don't know how cool people are. No, you I don't. Didn't, I didn't know if the client was cool. And it's tough because, like, on the one hand, it's like, you know what's going on. Everyone's just trying to make each other laugh. It's not about hurting. It's about you said something funny. I want to say something funnier. You know, and for real, like, I, when even when we're joking, like, I don't want to hurt someone's feelings. You know, yeah. I, I just want to, like, make you laugh. Yeah, that's not the intention at all. Right. Uh, unless the feelings. joke is hurting someone's well, feelings, which it usually isn't. It may be. Like, like if I'm ripping on Cam. Yeah, like, if we're talking about Cam's family. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And why yeah, you're late. It's a sensitive topic, like, whatever, but we joke. Why your dad left, which yeah. I get. And then the face tattoo one was pr the video, the next video. Where yeah, when I, like, I said, did you just tattoo, tattoo my face? face? And you're yeah. like, oh, cool. Oh, that, I forgot about that. That one's actually video. was that one actually Yo, was good. That's probably my favorite. That one blew quick up. Bang. That was like, a quick hit video. Like that one was heat. Yeah. 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 That was yeah. a quick banger we did too, while yeah. I was just laying there. We're like, let's just. Yeah, we were just like, do it. Yeah. That was like something everyone will like. Like I mean, even <laughs> my family were like, this is this is a great video, John. Yeah. You yeah. know, and I'm like, oh, cool. And then they're like, has that ever happened? You know. Like of course it has. Yeah, people also when they saw that thought I really got my my face tattoo. Like I still have the mark. Did it. I should just done it for the. Yo, yeah. but that shit the happens camera. all the time mm -hmm. with the phone. Yeah, they're like on the phone, and I get it. I use my phone when I'm getting tattooed. I watch movies or whatever. But they're like one hand texting, playing video. Games. It's like yeah, you're gonna drop your shit, bro. Especially you don't have a fucking pop socket, which we yeah. sell, we sell here. <laughs> and, uh, time yeah. Real quick promo and they there. dropped their phone and since it's attached to their whole soul and identity they're like you yeah know, they jerk off and i'm like yo like we're tattooing you and i'm prepared for it and i don't really ha have the needle in that deep anyway but my opinion is if you jerk and i tattoo you by accident somewhere else because of a quick swift motion it's your fucking fault yeah. And I'm charging you more for it, player. 
<laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I feel like you can almost like sense when they're about to drop it. Do you get that? No, but I can sense what kind of client they are. Yeah, I'm like, like you this know, is, like you have to be on. Right. Like, like this is a client that doesn't pay attention. Yeah, I gotta be like. Well, you guys get a whole different new wave of of clientele nowadays, right? Like from when you when you first started tattooing, like when you first were starting to get into uh, it. Yeah. Like yeah. it's a whole yeah, like all like different types TikTok of clients now. Well, no, I'm not even saying that. I'm just saying like they're like. Back in the day, like not, I mean, you oh, probably, you're saying like when he first everyone's started, getting tattooed, like, like yeah. everyone, all different types of people want tattoos now. Tattoos have gotten so well, I mainly tattoo like so popular, my age, like younger people, yeah, like eating them up. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah you crazy. get that, and just people are on their phones more and more and more, and yeah, <laughs> like when I started, it was very much like yeah, you're coming in, you're getting a tattoo, and that's all you're doing, and like we can talk. Yeah, but now it's like all this extra stuff, like. You have the phones, the iPads. I mean, we have the fucking TV in the front. Like, there's a lot going on. You know, you're Without multi. You're multitasking. For some, sometimes, though, for people, it's like they're only free time. Like, I understand, like, if you're working. Yeah. Like, when I get tattooed, I, like, I'll watch TV. Like, I'm chilling. I'm just happy to, like, have the day off. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But it's, like, good opportunity to, like, you know, respond to people on Instagram, stuff like that. Sure. Just yeah, there's time. But we're all, also with the phone. It's just, it's everything now. It's all it is. I feel like. When I'm getting tattooed, though, I'm constantly like, don't move, don't move, don't move. I can tell right away if a client is not like that. Like, they don't care. They're like, lad, whatever. It- oh, see, my that's how I am. When you're tattooing me, like, and you're and you're light with it, too. Like, yeah. you're one of the best. Like, and I, I still will be like, don't move, don't move, don't move. It's good. Yeah. And I know, like, if we're making jokes. And I he'll know, he'll know when I'm like, when he was, like, doing this inside and, like, my leg. And they'll be like, oh, does that hurt, pussy? And I'm like, because <laughs> it, it's hurting. It is hurting, but I'm trying to not move. <laughs> and then I'm trying not to laugh now and then really start moving. Because when you're just laying there and you're, or sitting there and you're just on a spot and you're, like, just, like, and then you got people yeah. here talking to you, too, because yeah. I'll have all these guys fucking talking right. shit to me while I'm, like, fucking calling yeah, the pussy. I'm kind of, like, <laughs> like tickling yeah. feet, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, too. Yeah. Well, you're trying to have sex with me, which you can anytime yeah, you I mean, want. This new ch- this Get that new on there. fire, right? <laughs> yeah, new vets fire. I, I didn't even see it, actually. I, you haven't sat on it? He hasn't sat on it? Uh, how long has yeah. it been here for? I don't know. Have I? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, you were. You, I was riding you on that thing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, sorry, I was just only looking at you. The uh, we did the couples video with you too, like bringing your significant other. Yes, insignificant other. Yeah, that's the, that's the one uh, that I did with uh, what's her name, Kelly. Yes, and you're like that machines was a good one. down. It's machines down. That, that was a fun one. Have you dealt with that before? Uh, boyfriends. Yeah, or girlfriends. Like yeah. overprotected. Yeah. I've, oh, I feel like that's like a super common one. What tattoo artist doesn't go through that though? Or even just like a friend. There's always just like that. I hate a second opinion. Like come by yourself to your tattoo. Yeah. Like we're not going to say names, but like you kind of had the situation. I feel like last week the girl came in with her boyfriend and she kind of like snapped on him for trying to put input in. She was like, shut the fuck up. It's for I me. I don't even remember. Uh, Hip. Oh, it was her brother. Oh yeah. Well he was, yeah, yeah but he was like putting in input and she was like enough. It's yeah. for me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's right. Yo, yeah, for sure. Like, that's how I wish it was. But, like, yeah. a lot of the times. <laughs> yeah, he was. was minor. <laughs> Who was? Yeah. He was or her? Uh, yeah. She's yeah. I hate yeah. I yeah. know I got yeah. the shut, design. Shut up, young. I got the design figured out. They like it. And then the significant other, like, yeah. changes. And then my client is, like, either receptive to what they're saying or they're just, like, soft and can't think for themselves and then they change the design and then it's like this back and forth argue between them yeah and i i just want like i feel like i'm not even involved yeah you know it's like just let me know when you're when you yeah, figure like, it out sir, yeah. hold, hold, we'll let you know when we're ready <laughs> yeah that, yeah that drives me like it's, nuts it's super common i mean even i feel like walk-ins like a lot of people come in like couples and it's like the other significant others always like very particular about placement. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What about always. like people bringing people in general? I hate it. I'm not a fan of it. I personally, I, I tattoo a younger group, like age group, so they tend to come in groups sometimes. Um, I don't. I just would not want to sit here while someone else is getting tattooed. It's just so fucking. So boring. like you feel like, like yo, first tattoo, emotional support person come with you, maybe. Like I get it, you know, like 
maybe 18, 19 year old's first tattoo. Maybe they want like significant other with them for yeah. that. But like, if you're coming for a fucking nine hour full day session, like don't bring anyone. They're gonna be bored. Yeah, They're quick, gonna, quick ones are fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're gonna yeah, all quick day. hour banger, 30 minute tattoo, maybe like best friend matching tattoo yeah but like if you're coming for a full day and you bring a friend like yeah, you're, crazy. you're a horrible friend for bringing your friend <laughs> because yeah. they're just literally just gonna sit here and stare at the fucking walls and yeah yeah it's rough it's boring because i'm like oh you're gonna fucking be bored i don't mind like you come with someone especially like traveling because we got a lot of clients that travel yeah. i understand traveling with a friend or significant other whatever they usually come in, they say what's up, maybe they chill for an hour, and they bounce. Yeah, that yeah. makes total sense. Like, they, they, oh, yeah, they're, they're here right. for, like, the first hour or two of the session. They come back, like, yeah, the last yeah, yeah. hour. They go, they go do whatever. But, like, support back. your person. Yeah. And what I yeah. mean by that is, like, make sure they're cool. Make sure mm -hmm. they got what they need. When they're, like, looking at the stencil and the design, hype them up. Yeah. They're like, yeah, it looks sick. You're yeah. going to love that. Yep. Don't like, make it harder for them. Yeah. Don't, like, complicate it. Like, yeah. I don't know. Do you really want that? What does your mom think? And it's like, yo. So I have younger yeah. friends. It's going to be on you for the rest of your life. I don't yeah. know if you know that. <laughs> I don't like it. There's certain ways to do it. Like, I have yeah. younger friends that, are, like, are looking to get tattoos and stuff now. Um, Maybe bring them in the back. I think he wants to bring his stuff in, too. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. Right. That's awesome. Nice <laughs> observation. <laughs> I'll get friends, though, that, like, want tattoos, but maybe, like, not in a specific style I do, and they're going to a specific artist, and they're like, yo, could you, like, maybe come with me for the beginning, make sure, like, artist isn't, like, stepping on me, or, like, you know, like, help me ensure, like, I get what I want. Oh, yeah. And it's like, yeah, bro, 100%, but, like, at the end of the day, I want you to get the tattoo that you want. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to change things for you. Like, you're going to ask me, does this look good, and I'm going to ask you, I don't know, does it? Do you like it? Yeah, I mean, you're not going to take, like, if you're getting... Yeah, if you're going to be like, yo, I think you should do this and this and that. If you have a friend like, who's good with cars, you're going to take him to say, make sure his mechanic's not yeah, ripping we, me off. But you're not going to expect we, your friend to stay there the whole we, time we, and we watch We touched them. on that in, like, the Chase... We <laughs> and watch on, them work on the car. We touched... We, yeah, <laughs> you know? Like, we touched yeah. on that in the Chase video. It's like, you bring your car to a mechanic, like, you don't fucking hassle with him. Yeah. Like, yo, you do what you do. Do it. Like, yeah. right. I mean, you could hassle, but I'm saying, like, if you bring someone with the, with you to make, like, that's good with cars, like, they're going to, you know... If they, like like I, you just said, if they bring like you. I, if I go to a barber and I'm like, I want to fade, and he does it like a little bit lower, and I wanted it higher, and he's like, it this fade shapes like it fits your head shape better. I'm like, all right, whatever, bro. You know what yeah. the fuck you're talking about. I don't. Know. Wait, I miss like, the days of getting fades. I think it's important, like when you sit down with a client, to like really, <laughs> beard essentially, beard. like size them up, because there are people that just want what they want, and I don't yeah. try to fight that. Like yeah. if you're a want what you want kind of client. I'll pick on, up on that right away, and I'll just give you what you want. Yeah, you kind of tell me. Even if you do, don't like it, you're just like, you have not to know, be, don't like it, but it's like if they know what they want. Even if I don't like it. Yeah, you're yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. You just are like, all right, right. let's run it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I understand that. And I've even had clients that, and I really respect this. They're like, listen, I want this. I just, I want it this way. Yeah, and they like Let, pull you aside. Like, I know you don't do it like this, but like, or whatever. They'll just be like, I want it this way. Maybe there's a cooler way to do it. Uh, it happens a lot when they're like, my friend had this tattoo. He died. I'm like, OD question mark. And then they're like, I just want it exactly like this. I know it's not yeah. that cool. Yeah. And then they'll say this, which I love. They're like, but I'm going to let you do my sleeve. We do whatever we want. I like that. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, cool. I'll give you this shitty dead friend tattoo. Yeah. And then we'll do some it's cool like, shit. Yeah, people like people yeah. do like. Let me know there's a light yeah. at the end of the yeah, time. Your friend who couldn't people hack. Like, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not in the real world. Yeah, bro. Don't do drugs that are harder than you. Yeah, I feel like that comes up with like cover ups too. They're like, I know you don't want to do a cover up, but if you do this cover up for me, you get like all this other extra space. I got you. Right. You know what I fucking hate though. That's in the same. They're like, yo, you like do it for me on the low. And like it'll be <laughs> sick though. You have like a nice portfolio piece. Yeah. Like I, I don't care what you do. Yo, have you have you heard that, Adrian? Have you heard that shit? <laughs> have you heard that? No, oh, whatever. I don't care. Have you heard that Adrian's though? Like, what? They're like, yo, like I'm gonna let you do my whole sleeve. Like yeah. you get add into portfolio. Like just hook you up. I'm like, yo, I already have a portfolio. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. And your idea is dumb. Yeah. Who's going to want to see a whole sleeve of clouds in my portfolio? Yeah. And trees. <laughs> and trees. Yeah. yeah. A, nice, a nice forest. I mean, dude, I found for, I found for me just getting tattoos has been so easy <laughs> of just a lot. Like, 
I mean, I also don't. I also don't care what's on my body for the rest of my life. Like, I don't look at it that deep. You like, also, I know I some people you, do, and you I don't have a bad tattoo experience, though. Yeah, no, I get, oh, no, hundred yeah. percent. But I'm also saying, like, even if I did want like something that's like outlandish, or if you, we decided to do something stupid, like I would do. I'd really put anything on me. I don't care. Like. I, I don't have, like, where it's like, oh, it's on my body for the rest of my life. I don't know if I'm going to yeah. want that. But it's been easy with me because you've just been like, yo, this is what I'm thinking. I'm like, bet, run it, and we just do it. And I've yeah. loved it so far. You know, and like you said, yeah, I haven't had a bad experience. Yeah. I got lucky. Yes. I, I, I went to John. Well, you first were smart. You, like, like, did some yeah. research. You waited. You were kind of like. I didn't even do research. Uh, Someone just told me about John. So you got lucky. <laughs> and, I was, and I was like. So John right, could have been let me, absolutely let me, horrible Let me go check this tattooing. out. And uh, this was. The, and that was when we went. We had the back door. <laughs> the back door service. <laughs> the good old days. That was my favorite time of. Ever working here. Oh, I bet it was. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was. Door man, I mean. <laughs> yeah. That's when I first met you too, man. That was awesome though. But yeah, I haven't had a bad experience. I know people that have had bad experiences. Do you see? have friends that like do all the wrong things in tattoos and like get shitty ones and like are unhappy? Yeah, I remember I had I remember I uh yeah, they one kid was trying to get like this knife of him holding like a knife. It just looked like a fucking <laughs> Brazil <laughs> fucking <laughs> Big ass cock on his arm, and this was this was years ago. But he was like, I don't know what the hell he's doing now. But he was like, uh, I was just getting sober, and we were living in halfway. And he was like, you know, he's like, fuck yeah, thirty days sober, like I'm gonna fucking go get tattooed. And he had this sick idea, and then he was like, he showed. I was like, bro, I was like bro that's a cock <laughs> there you go, on man. your arm. Dingo. That's me holding a knife. Yeah. That's you holding a dick. Yeah, bro. that's you literally talking on someone's <laughs> cock. Like, dude, did Nolly do that shit? Did he give someone a dick bat? Did he really? No, Nolly did this he bat. Did. And the tail looked like a dick. The arms. Looked I don't like understand how no, you put the stencil on. The thing though. had the thing had eight dicks in it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, like how obviously, like. Penis ball shapes, like eight of them, distinguishable in them. On his back? In, no, just in this dude's bat tattoo. It's just a bat tattoo, the dick yeah. bat. That's what we called it. He, wa- he wanted, he didn't want this. He just wanted a bat. He got a dick bat. And how did they add cocks to this bat? It's just Nolly's way of drawing. Maybe he's just thinking about dicks. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking, I had a dick in your tattoo. <laughs> did you? Hmm? No. Uh, well, you you like should do that, though, no, is maybe, add know. something, that, like, while you're doing my tattoos, because you're going to be the only one doing them, of adding something, whether it says, like, whether it is a cock or something. I'm like, hey, Chuck, I hit a dick in there on the back of your arm. It's just that not hidden like, at all. It's, just so funny. <laughs> it's like a where's Waldo. Let Wal- me know if you can find <laughs> it. It's like, it's like a where's Waldo thing. You're like, I'm going to hide a little cock in there. Let it's me know if you find your it. Arm. It's, <laughs> it's just down my spine. The rest it's of the sleeve is just Wal- arrows just pointing to it. <laughs> this is the it's just Waldo standing on a fucking <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's Waldo with his cock out. <laughs> <laughs> Did you and find I'm, him? <laughs> Let me know when you find them. You would tattoo idea. Yeah, I couldn't imagine getting the date of like a loved one dying. <laughs> you fucking do it wrong or spell the name wrong. It's like Madeline. They just completely butcher <laughs> it. <laughs> like Roman numerals. Chuck, do you know about the Who Roman numerals? No, 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 no. <laughs> you? Or, no, no. Or Adrian? <laughs> Wait, who did Roman numerals wrong? Adrian? <laughs> Yo, hold hold, on. yo, so hold it's on. not even like some fucking complicated <laughs> Super Bowl Roman numerals. It's literally XI, XI, XI. And what did you do? What do you decide? Oh, hold on. What do you think you did? What do you, you, how do you think this? There's uh, only two X-X-I. ways. <laughs> no. And XI. You just put the porn one. No. <laughs> Agent's like, fuck these eyes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, and X-X. <laughs> so Tranny it, fucks this smell. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to say it, Adrian? Or? Say what? He's like, do you like it? <laughs> So, so how did we do this XIs? Oh, I didn't look at the picture and I put it backwards. No, it was. And I was so confident in it until I wasn't. And then I go to the. It was like backwards in the mirror. It, now here's yeah. the th- here's the thing. We're not gonna put the full blame so on him because it upside down though. This is this right? is this yeah. is this is what's hysterical. Yeah. We made the video <laughs> of Adrian of the backwards putting something, yes. looking in the mirror, yeah. and being like, "Yo, it's." Cash money, baby. <laughs> well, I think it's backwards, right? <laughs> then that happens. So he puts it on backwards. But then when the client sees it in the mirror, he's like, it looks, it looks perfect. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we even made the new merch yeah. with the backwards. backwards shirt. 
I don't know if, I don't know if you've <laughs> So did client merch. realize? No, yeah. but the best part was it was his first tattoo and his birthday. I was tattooing his, his birthday on him. His birthday was 11 11. So 11. he doesn't, he never reached out again saying it was. Yeah, well, he, he did, he did. He got covered up now. But yeah. He gave Adrian a task. I'm like, either Because someone was like, you bro. You can call him and tell him, yo, I fucked up. Was he mad? No, he was actually pretty no, cool. He was like, I didn't even realize it. It happens. You know, it is what it is. Just so <laughs> fucked up. Funny. Funny. I, mean, I do want to ask him how he got busted or like, did someone else tell you? Oh, someone 100%, like someone 100% told him. Yeah. He posted it. Happy birthday to me. Yo, that was two months. 11, 11, 11. They're like, it's 999. <laughs> so, Chuck, I heard you have some really good uh, romance stories, maybe. Adrian really wanted to. Yeah, Adrian hear wanted this to hear one. this story. This is the only reason I came here to get you here. <laughs> <laughs> He's been waiting two and a half. I wanted to hear this for the sixth time. I so, I, um, I was uh, swiping and. Uh, was this during COVID? This is before COVID. Okay. This is right before, yeah, it was before COVID, but um, I matched with uh, with someone. Um, as I'm seeing the pictures, um, I'm realizing I'm not sure if this <laughs> is a full woman. <laughs> she. So you're trying to match with a woman? Yes, but I, but I, re- but I realized she was like hot, so. He was hot. But <laughs> either way, however you do, I'm not getting into the pronouns thing, but um, either way, they were hot. They were hot. <laughs> so I, um, I was like, all right. So I started talking to, to them, and uh, it was the vibe was like actually good. I was like talking to my homies. So, like, <laughs> this is too good. So like, we can like watch football. After. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like, you see the Giants? <laughs> and uh, no, we were just vibing. So then. Uh, they were like, uh, yeah, meet me in, um, it was uh, Hollywood. Uh, it was like, uh, it wasn't Wilton Manors, but I think it was by there maybe. Um, I'm, you know, like I said, 45 minutes more north. But so I'm like, all right, bet. And we're talking. I'm like, fuck it. It's like two in the morning at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking, like, I'm like running, you know. I'm in a weird place at two in the morning. You know, I'm horny as hell. Yeah. I'm like, let's go explore the world. So I... <laughs> I hop in the car, and, like, the pictures were fire, dude. Like, I was pretty hyped for a new experience, you know? You were, like, half-breaked on the way? Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, I took some Cialis. I'm fucking the blood's flowing. I'm seeing different colors. I'm, uh, I'm ready <laughs> the to headache. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. My dick's doing the fucking Tootsie Slide. I'm just <laughs> waiting to fucking go. Yeah, my head's pounding. It's the worst. <laughs> my head's pounding. I'm trying to drink water, take migraine pills. So I get I, I get, I get close by, and I'm like, uh, I text, text them, and I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm pulling up. Like, all right. They're like, meet me on the street. I'm like, all right. I get there, and it's literally just, like, like this dude in, like, a wig, <laughs> like, a white tee, like, socks. And he, like, gets in my car, and he's like, and he's like, like, we, like, dap it. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck is this? He's like, yo, you mind going to the gas station so I get a pack of some <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, all right. <laughs> so like we drove over there and like they get they go get the cigarettes and like I'm like pressure. <laughs> My mistake here, by the way, drove away. <laughs> is I should have drove, <laughs> drove drove away. I waited for his purchase of the cigarettes to get back in my car to drive him back to where he needed to go. So when we pulled back up, I was like, all right, like this is obviously not. You know what I thought. So like, you know, we're cool. I was like, yeah. yo, nice seeing you. And then <laughs> I appreciate he, you. Yeah, I was like, yeah, nothing like, against you. Yo, like nothing you against great. you. Like you look awesome. Like with the white tee thing and like Killing slides, slides. Like yeah. where'd you, slides. Where'd you get them? them. I, I didn't wear mine. I always wear slides. He's like, go here. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get some tonight. <laughs> and then um, it's two a.m. <laughs> but when we dapped it up, like, I gotta go because I gotta get uh, the <laughs> slides. <laughs> Yeah, I actually, I'm sorry. I gotta go because the slides you have, I right. want, so I have to go get them. It has nothing to do with the fact nothing to do with you. I'm with whatever. I gotta get these slides. I'm fluid. So I'm, I'm water, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I'm just vibing. I'm just but I also have like 200 milligrams of Seattle <laughs> <laughs> pumping through my veins. <laughs> so when when we dapped it up one last time, he kind of came like 95 percent, like not literally, but like his head came towards me. And he went in for the kiss, and 
I didn't like turn <laughs> like, like fast enough to go this way. I turned into it. I kind of, I kind of turned, turned where we both connected for a second. So like we weren't like making out. It was more of like <laughs> it was more. <laughs> more of this like weird like I should have went this way but I kind of when he came in went this way and we connected and um and then I was just like alright like nice slot <laughs> like, he got out and He's I like, and I'm like you were great <laughs> I, was, I was like was that like the best you ever had <laughs> and then I just rode home with Cialis pumping through my veins <laughs> And got back to the house, and you ever just ride home silent, wondering what the hell <laughs> yeah. just, oh. just happened? With, with, like, there's no music at all. I'm riding with no music. My, my dick. He's steering with his dick. Yeah, my dick's doing the steering. Like, oh, and I'm, man. like, just complete silence, and I'm like, I have no idea what just happened. Am I gay? The best now? part about this is, like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, am I gay now? Even though I've done a lot worse. <laughs> before that and but the funny part is i i told i told john about it next time i came i came in the shop and we were talking about it. and then when i was supposed to get a uh, part of this t tattoo done john's like i got something awesome to draw for you and he drew a dude with a wig at the gas station, at the gas station. <laughs> and i was like yeah fuck it put it on hey chuck it wasn't easy but i made a few calls and i was able to track them down <laughs> <laughs> that's, literally, that's literally what he looked like. Just a little more attractive. 